Okay guys, it's Wednesday and now my hair is a mess, but we're about to take care of that here in a second because I'm gonna go to Ulta and see what they have like on sale because I, I need a new eyebrow pencil because I really like the Anastasia brow pencil, but I might check some others out um, and see if they have like any discounts or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I will take you guys along and do maybe like a mini haul if I get some things. Okay, we're in my bedroom, so um, I'm going to turn this light on. So I'm actually going to wash my face because I didn't wash it in the shower because it was out on the sink and I didn't feel like dripping water everywhere. So I'm going to show you guys my updated little skincare routine. Um, okay, so this is the stuff I've been using dropping everything. I've been using the CeraVe uh, Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. Um, cleanses, hydrates, and helps to restore the protective skin barrier with three essential kermites, kermites, ceramides, ceramides, I don't know how you pronounce that, and hyaluronic acid. Um, so it helps to lock the moisture in, which I really need because my skin is always super dry. Um, but I honestly think it's been helping because I was breaking out pretty bad right here as you might have seen in the last video and I do have like little dots right here so I've been trying to see if this helps and so far it's been minimizing the bumps and the redness so I will show you what I do okay sorry I had to go throw my hair up so I wet my face um, let me get my towel ready and put it right here because I always soak myself. But I'm going to get my face wet and then apply the cleanser. It doesn't like suds or like do bubbles or anything. I'll show you here in a minute. Dampening my skin and my neck because I get my neck as well. And then I just take one squirt of the CeraVe. You don't even have to take that much. And I just rub it in my hands and see it doesn't bubble or anything like you can barely tell that I'm applying it and I get these parts really good because for some reason I break out around my hairline all right now I will rinse it And then I just like dot it so it's not like soaking wet, but it's still it's still pretty damp. I keep it damp because once I put the lotion on, it helps it to lock that moisture in, and it makes it so much softer. There is my updated routine. This is it. They both have hyaluronic acid and the three essential ceramides. Ceramides. Um, and it's also accepted as the National Eczema Association, which is really nice because a lot of people have eczema and it's not fun. I haven't had to deal with that, so I'm blessed in that aspect. But I know my brother has it really bad, so I might tell my mom about it and see what she thinks to use that for him. But yeah, here's an up close of my skin. I don't know if you guys can see the little like bumps right there and like right here and this is a new bump but I think it's because I've been washing my face more and it's taken all the old nasty dirt and toxins out of my skin because I like didn't have a skincare routine at all I would just wipe my makeup off, makeup off and use body wash for my for my skin so I think that's what this is doing but yeah, that's my updated skincare for now. And I might add some things, but I will link these two exact things down below. And yeah, so now, oh yeah, I also want to mention I've been using this new toothpaste. I want to get the mouthwash and the whitening strips for it because I've been trying to whiten my smile but I use the 3D Crest White Glamorous White because I seen it on TikTok 
so I've been trying that. It's like been four or five days since I started. Um, I have like the first couple days on video, but yeah, so yeah. Okay guys, so don't mind my messy hair because I haven't really done anything to my hair. Um, but we went to Ulta. Well, I went to Ulta by myself and I got some things. So first thing I got, I didn't really go with the intention of buying anything, but you all know how that always ends up being. Um, anyway, I got these magnetic lashes and so what it comes with is just one pair of lashes and they have the magnets on it and this is the magnetic black eyeliner so this it goes on pretty black I already did it right it's this one right here but this is what it looks like and it's magnetic but you want to let it dry so what the lady told me at Sephora because last time I got them my magnets fell off like of the lashes I didn't get this specific brand like I said um but it fell off the lashes so she said to make sure that it dries completely like if it says wait six seconds wait like 16 20 seconds like wait till it's completely dry make sure you put like a primer or something to dry out the eyelid to make sure it's not like greasy or anything um, and that will help with that so I got the last one of the faux mink volume and these look really full and luscious and I'm so excited because I never wear lashes in my like makeup things so I'm super excited I hope these work because you can use it up to 15 wears so that's quite a bit if I do say so myself but the next thing I got was this I'm trying to do like cheaper brands um not like cheaper like cheap I mean it is it's less expensive than the other products I get so I usually get the I have two of these I usually get the tattoo liner Kat Von D liquid eyeliner and I have two of those but I decided to try this one and this is the black NYX epic ink liner and it's waterproof so that's pretty cool but I did do this one as well on my hand here's the tip oh, let me. here's the tip and I think that it applies pretty nice. I'll be able to definitely do like the wing. Well, that's, I don't know what I'm doing there. I was just drawing, but yeah, this stuff is pretty nice. Um, and I got it in black. Next thing I'm super excited about is the Stilla Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm excited because every time I do a cut crease, I always want to do like shimmers, and this stuff is amazing. I've seen so many YouTube videos on it and other makeup artists using it, and I'm just so excited. I got the shade, what shade is this? Kitten Karma, Karma is the shade I got. It's this like orangey, and I'm super excited because I'm going to do a fall look because this weekend we're going to the pumpkin patch, and I'm super excited, so yes, I love the pumpkin patch, especially hanging out with my hubby at the pumpkin patch. It's like, it's just the best. So much, I, I just love it. It's like my favorite time of the year is fall. Everything good happens. Pumpkin patches, apple cider, um, the sugar donuts, pump, uh, corn mazes, you get to pick your own pumpkin, sunflowers, Halloween, you get to dress up. It, it's just, I love fall time so much. Thanksgiving! Like, who doesn't like fall? Who doesn't like autumn? That's me. Who doesn't like it? 
Um, sorry, that was my fall rant. Um, but this is the brush. It's pretty decent. I'm gonna swatch it. I'm gonna take my sweater off so I can swatch this stuff because I also got an eyeshadow palette. Super excited. I should be doing homework, but you know, who does homework nowadays? Not this girl. Anyway, sorry. Well, my hair is literally a mess, but okay. So I'm gonna do it on my arm. Right here, there's nothing. I'm gonna swatch it. Oof. It is so sparkly, it's gonna look so good on my eyes with the fall look I'm doing. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so that's that's the other brand thing I got. I got this stuff because Milena Ciciati, I, Ciciati, Ciciati, I think that's how you pronounce it. She did a little Instagram thing on this, and it's the Bird's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I opened it, and there's a hole in it. Like, I don't know if I should be worried about that, but yeah. It's the tinted chapstick in the color um, hibis hibiscus, hibiscus. Um, so this is this. Um, Mmm, this stuff smells amazing. I love this. I love this. I feel like it's a really good color for my skin tone. And it smells delicious. It smells so good. And it's 100% natural. Oh my god. Look how pretty this is. Don't look at my yellow teeth, I'm working on that. But it's so smooth, like chapstick. I think it was on sale, so it was $3.51. That is definitely, yep, yeah, that's a definitely yes. I will be buying that forever again. Okay, next thing. I didn't want this to be that long because I did want to do a little makeup at the end, but I got my not my first. I got a um, white eyeliner and it's the stick. So I don't know if I like it just because you can't like twist it up anymore and you can't sharpen it. I don't know. It'll, it'll like run out, but we'll try it. It's supposed to make your eyes look bigger because you put it on your waterline. My water line's all wet, already like white, but it's so hard to put on your water line because mine water so much. Oh, that definitely makes your eye bigger for sure. And then once you put mascara on, this eye with, this eye without. Let me know in the comments down below if it makes my eye look bigger. And then la oh, not the last thing. I think I got one more thing, which is the eyeshadow palette. But I got this new eyebrow pencil. I've been trying out new pencils because the Anastasia one's like 24 bucks. This was $10. And it has, it's called Fill and Fluff by NYX. Um, this is the one. I got it in the shade Espresso because my eyebrows are super dark. The next one was black. Like I said, I don't like to do black. So, Espresso it is. And look at this. Look at this cute little brush. Look at this cute little, it's like a little toothbrush or like a little, a little comb for your, for your eyebrows. Love. Okay, we're gonna try it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Look. That stuff's awesome. 
I mean, I obviously can do better, but it looks, it looks good. It looks, it looks good. I'm not going to do the other one. So this is like my trial side. Um, and last but not least is the new eyeshadow palette I got, I think. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's the, I've never heard of her until TikTok, Madison Beer. I got her new, um, Channel Surfing Artistry Palette by Morphe. So here's what it looks like. And, um, it has a cute little picture of her and, like, a little message. Um, usually that's what they have. Um, looks like that. Back looks like that. Around it is like numbers. I don't know if they mean something, but it's just like zeros and ones. I don't know if that means anything. So if you know what that means, comment that down below as well. And I will link all these in the description below if I can find the links. If not, I'll just say what it is. But this is so pretty. The mirror, there's a mirror in it and the mirror is so big. I'm not going to show you the colors yet. I'm just going to show you the mirror. Look at the mirror. Ooh, show you the colors. But that's a pretty big, decent mirror and it's really like clear and clean. But they're super pretty. Look at, look at that. I don't know if the lighting's bad. Here, hold on. Let me change the lighting right quick. Okay. So, hold on. I don't know if the different lighting will change it, but that one might be better to show the colors. But look at that. I really love these colors. I love the palette, so I'm gonna swatch it. I hate swatching just because it, like, it wastes the shadow. But I will do it for you guys. So I'm gonna start with the lightest and go over to the darker one. So, this is the first one. It is... Uh, white rabbit white rabbits just literally white next shade is stained glass but you can't even see it but it sparkles next one is baby and this one's like a goldy yeah these aren't really pigmented it's probably just because, like, again, I said I don't have any, like, concealer, primer, or anything on my arm. It's just my arm. Okay. But, like, on my finger... Oh, I'm probably not pressing down hard enough, actually. You can see it now. That's this one. My arm's, like, can't twist it like that. But, next one is... Zero. This one's pretty. These are kind of close in shade. Um, next one is Marceline. Ooh, I like Marceline. That one's super pretty. I don't know why it's so hard. I should probably do it like over here more. I'm gonna move the positioning of the shadows. But next one is C137, and this one's a really, like, goldy, what's this one, that one's pretty, these are all pretty, like, actual fall shades, which is what I was looking for, I was gonna go with the Jaclyn Hill one, but there was only, like, like, two rows, like, probably, like, eight shades for 16, whereas this one is $22 for the palette, and you get almost, like, four, 20 shades so this one is a brown which is the zeppelin now they honestly are showing up it might just be my lighting it might be too bright and try to turn it down I turn the Okay, that one might be better, but there's that one. That one's Zeppelin. Now I'm going to do the other arm and then wipe it off and then do the other two rows. But this one is Devil in a Dress. This one's pretty. 
the next one is P Pisces, Pisces, whatever. That one's real pretty too. Next one is, this is kind of actually a, a greenish brownish. It's called Banana. I don't know why it's called Banana when it's not yellow, but there's like a lot of like shimmery browny golds in this palette and I like it. So next one is Emotional Bruises. This one's pretty light, but it's really, it'd be like a really good, um, like blending shade to blend out with. It's that like purple light color. I also have the Pixie, which this is like a purple shimmer. I like how they put the colors like that would go together together. It just helps a lot better to pick them. I'm really good at, I'm, I mean, I'm really bad at doing swatches, I'm sorry. But next one is Fight Club. This one's pretty. Next one is Prestige. This is like a pinky rose gold. Next is this like Jericho. It's like a light brown. And the shadows aren't like very like they're pretty I feel like they're creamy. Not like creamy creamy, but like not look, that color almost matches my bruise. <laughs> but um I like that shade too, that'd be a good transition shade. So I'm gonna clean these off and do the last row and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. So I cleaned off this arm and I'm just gonna go straight in with Bambi. Bambi's really dark brown. And then 3553. Five, yeah, these are really creamy, I feel like. So they're pretty close together. Um, this one is Cosmos. It's like a lighter, shinier color. And then last two shades is, so this last two shades, this one is Life Support. I like that one. And then this one is just rabbit hole which I'm assuming is just black yep. so that's the last row those all go really well together so yeah that is my haul and I'm surprised the eyeliner still on the lips are still tinted my eyebrow is still good I'm excited I'm going to probably do a full face when I should be doing homework, but you know, you got to live a little. And I'm excited to try out this new palette and bring you guys a lot of fall shades and looks, so I tried taking it off, but yeah, so I'm super excited. And this is how the Stilla one dried. It doesn't really come off unless you like scrape it so yes I had fun I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video bye